Hey gearheads and welcome to Grouse Talk. I'm Corey and that was the most highly anticipated new mid-size pickup truck. Tacoma has stolen a little bit of thunder, but that is the 2023 Chevy Colorado in the Trail Boss trim. And in this video, I'm in beautiful Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin. I'm gonna take this one off road. Stay tuned. Yes, gearheads, I am no longer in Texas for this video. I am at the Midwest Automotive Media Association, or MAMA, Spring Rally. And springtime in Wisconsin is not springtime in Texas, but I do have this beautiful Chevy Colorado Trail Boss back behind me. I've done some videos, walk-arounds on these before, so I won't go into too much detail. You can go check those out from auto shows, because I actually have the keys to this one and an off-road trail to test it on. But I do want to talk about, while I've got the hood up, there is only one powertrain in the new Colorado, and that is a turbocharged 2.7 liter four-cylinder. It's been used for a few years in the Silverado, so you know it's a capable engine that is more than powerful enough to haul around the much bigger sibling to this Colorado, but you get multiple different tunes. Here in this Trail Boss, this is the plus version. I'll put the power numbers there on the screen for you. Closing the hood, we can take in the new styling of the 23 Colorado. So very new, very updated look for the Colorado. And this being the Trail Boss version gets this controversial all black plastic front end on this one. This one is in a bronze color. I, I think it works not having a lot of contrast. It kind of takes away from all the black up front. This isn't exactly my favorite trim. I've told you before, I think I would spec a Z71 over this, but we're gonna see just how boss this thing is out on the trails when we get out in just a little bit. This does swap a lot of luxuries and niceties of that Z71 for more off-road tech, and we'll get into that as we're driving. But you can see, again, the black uh, front cladding all the way across. We get projector-style headlights and turn signals, no fog lights. So kind of a bare-bones approach out here. But coming around to the side, you can see we've got body-mounted rock guards here on uh, this particular model. So just something to note, those are body mounted, but they are weight rated. So you can rest on them. I, I don't know the exact specs on them. The Trail Boss does get these, uh, do have these bigger plaster, plastic over fenders because the track is wider on the Trail Boss than it would be say on that Z71 I like so much. And you can see it's riding on these blacked out wheels. You can get 20s, but why would you? right here i'll go ahead and show you these are 265 65 r18s in this very awesome black style you can see i'm not the first one to drive this one today so we're going to have some fun here in just a little bit all 2023 colorados are crew cab short bed uh, unlike the new tacoma that was just unveiled by toyota in hawaii uh, where you can get a two-door version you can get a long bed version not so here on the Colorado, they're keeping it simple all the way across the product lineup. You can see the Trail Boss also gets uh, black plastic door handles and black uh, covers on the mirror caps over here. Again, the wider fenders extend back here to the back. And then we get that Trail Boss logo on the back quarter panel. I really like the blacked out rear bumper on this one, much like Silverado Trail Boss. And we get the corner step. So. You know, Ford has started putting the corner step on the uh, 2024 Ranger. They built theirs into the bedside, but Chevy is still sticking with the bumpers here on this one. The top trim ZR2 doesn't get uh, the corner step bumpers, so just something to know. I will drop the tailgate. It is a damp tailgate. We get a nice mountain range there on the top. And tailgate wars are in full force, even here in the midsize segment, you do get some tailgate storage. This is optional. It's like four inches deep. It does have a drain plug. You can keep anything in here, whether it be your uh, tailgate beverage of choice or tools, and you just need to make sure and actually secure and latch that. But all kinds of stuff can go in there. And then we do have that spray and headliner. But 
let's come around take a look inside this one very quickly before we hit the trails because also as a trail boss this one being rather low on the uh, hierarchy of luxuries not much to speak of in here as far as luxuries go we get cloth seats in this one though they're really nice and feel very durable i like the two-tone look it's not just solid black and that extends all the way down i'm gonna go ahead and hop in i've got the headlights on and it's gonna keep beeping at me for the duration that I have the door open, but you can see we've got dude, two digital screens up here, smaller eight inch, and I believe it's an 11 inch screen over here. So going all digital for the infotainment system, I'm gonna go ahead and put my foot on the brake and start up that four cylinder. So you can see the uh, different graphics up here. Uh, the ZR2 gets a full digital gauge cluster versus a smaller unit that doesn't fill up the whole thing, but you can see it gives you all the pertinent information right there in front of you. And then, like I said, I had the headlights on. There is a quick shortcut for the headlights right up here because infamously Chevy has completely removed the dials, the knobs for uh, their lighting controls. You just get this uh, roller for the brightness. This one does have a trailering package, so you get your trailer brake control right over your left knee over here. And then again, infotainment stuff right here, all kinds of uh, different things that you can do through this Google powered unit. Get a few hard buttons, single zone climate controls, your vents, a couple of cool uh, toggle style buttons right here. You get, in some models, a Qi wireless charger. It doesn't look like here in this trail boss. Again, going light on the luxuries, but you do get a USB-A and USB-C. Eight-speed automatic transmission with a mechanical Prindle. So I really like that a whole lot, that you actually keep a mechanical, and there's no dial or knob or anything like that. Really like that. Uh, top trims of Ranger have gone electronic, but the lower trims of Ranger keep that autom or the mechanical one. They have updated the eight speed over previous gens, so we'll see how that goes. And then we get our four wheel drive controls here. There is a full auto mode, four high, four low, and two high, and then different drive modes uh, right there. So uh, you can see as you turn it, it goes through all your different drive modes. I'm anxious to test out terrain. So that's, yeah, terrain. And then materials in here are hard plastics. Again, it should be very easy to clean, wipe down on the trail. And you can see decent sized center console, a little on the small side, um, but very nicely placed for a good armrest here. Seating position is really good. It is a chair-like seating position, not like the old Tacomas where you were sitting basically booty on the floor. Uh, not so much here. I've got plenty of headroom at 510. Let's check out that rear seat really quickly while we are sitting here um, because I just want to show you what it's like sitting behind myself at 510. They did increase the wheelbase of this Colorado by pushing that front axle forward, but the interior space actually decreased uh, according to the specs and the numbers. But you can see me behind myself at 510. I've got plenty of room back here. I mean, it's smaller than the Silverado. Silverados are huge. Colorados have gotten pretty big themselves over the years, but pretty good overall space in here. But you didn't come to see a tour of this. I've did, done this at an auto show. Let's get this out on the trail and see what it can do. So this is my first time through this trail. I am in four high. I've been told there's nothing too major, too technical on this, but I will say that this environment right here, uh, wooded air covered drive train, just like this. This is exactly why you would want a midsize pickup truck for its maneuverability and it's ease to get around on trails like this. Whereas the Silverado, gosh, that thing has just gotten so incredibly massive that I, I, I couldn't foresee taking it even on some of my favorite trails uh, around East Texas. So here uh, in the Colorado and the Trail Boss version, very excited to see what all can be done with this platform and just how maneuverable it is. That, that really will be the story for me here in this one is its overall maneuverability uh, because that's what I'm most excited about. I do hope to get one of these on my home turf for 
a little bit more in-depth uh, excursion in uh, my favorite off-road park, Barnwell Mountain. So very much looking forward to getting to do some of that. But uh, we're gonna do a little hill climb here and see what this thing is uh, capable of. I have no idea what's over the top of it. I'm guessing it's a water splashdown. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll my window up. Yep, here we go. Let's get a little bit dirty. Yes. <laughs> yep, here we go. Let's get a little bit dirty. Yes. <laughs> There we go. And green course. So wiper stock is over on the left side. Got to get used to that. But I do have some trail cams here. So even in this trail boss, like I was saying earlier, it doesn't have a lot of amenities, but it does have 360 cameras. So I've got my forward facing camera. I've got a bird's eye 360 helping me see all the way around me, giving me a better idea of what obstacles are out here if I'm doing a little self-guided uh, exploration out on the trails. You can see uh, I am behind the new Subaru Crosstrek, so definitely nothing that uh, that thing could do, that this thing couldn't do. So it just... Again, this is testing out some of the lighter features. I do hope to have one of these uh, on my home turf very soon and really put it through the test on some of the articulation and just everything that the Trail Boss name implies uh, when you get a vehicle of this caliber. It's stuff like this that really make these forward-facing cameras very handy. So I can see up in front of me, uh, even when my nose is pointed to the sky. So I appreciate that very nicely. And in terrain mode, this has a one pedal drive. So this is really my first exploration into that one pedal drive. Currently, I have a Silverado ZR2 Bison at home that I know also has that. Uh, as you're seeing this, I probably have already tested that one, but as I'm recording this, no such luck. So very much looking forward to spending some time with that one on my home turf. But as far as ride on this one, very good, very capable out here on, yes, this somewhat tamped down trail. Uh, again, I'm behind a cross track. This thing is much more capable than what I am putting it through here, but it is good to know, uh, kind of get the characteristics, the feelings of it, knowing the tech that's in it, knowing just how capable that uh, 2.7 liter turbo four is under the hood. All things that you want to know and that I look forward to experiencing a little bit further because when I come to events like these, it's like speed dating for vehicles. It gives you just enough of a flavor of a vehicle to figure out if you wanna know more about it. And talking about maneuverability, this turn I'm about to execute, I'm behind the Silverado ZR2 Bison and it just had to do a three point turn to make it. So let's, oh, four point turn. <laughs> we'll see just how maneuverable this smaller Colorado is. Again, I am in four high that will learn limit some of my maneuverability versus just being in too high, which I'm pretty sure everything I've done so far I could have done in too high, but nice to know that I've got uh, that assurance if needed. But let's see, here is, yeah, I'm gonna have to do a, a three point turn even here in the Colorado in four high. But it's good to know that uh, I'm not gonna have to do a four point like the Silverado did. So very nice, very, small maneuverable vehicle here and uh yeah we'll see what we can get into so this is another spot where Col or silverado had to make a multi-point turn but i'm just gonna come straight through keep an eye on my spotter i will say this one pedal driving isn't quite like an ev it's not instantaneous when you let off but it very much does break the wheels uh, when you are not on the accelerator so yeah, 
yeah, these trails, I, I, I could not imagine driving that big Silverado uh, through some of these tighter spots. Uh, following behind it, seeing all of its three, four, five point turns, uh, that is why you would want midsize. And uh, honestly, as much as I like big trucks, it, if this were something I planned on doing more often than not, uh, Colorado, Ranger, Tacoma, Frontier, uh, that would be where I would be shopping more than Silverado, Tundra, Titan, and F-150. As fun as some of those crazy platforms are, ZR2 Bison, Raptor R, yeah, this is more like what I would see in East Texas, tight trails through the woods like this. And uh, mid-size pickups are definitely more where this is at. And this would be completely usable for my family as a family vehicle driving it around town. Again, I would probably opt for the Z71 trim just because it's a little nicer in here. But even this Trail Boss, I, it is well equipped. It, it is not a barren place to be. Again, dual screens, 360 cameras, one pedal trail driving in terrain mode. A lot of cool features here. And listening to that uh, Turbo 4 spool up with the window down, it puts a little smile on my face. Would I rather a V6 or a V8 like in Colorado's past? Yes, but you get what you get in modern times. And this little 2.7 is uh, quite powerful uh, for what it is. The engineers have done a lot of work uh, to get the most out of this uh, powertrain. Another tight turn. Can I make it? I'm going to go ahead and three point it. Again, some of my maneuverability is hampered by the fact that I'm in four high. Again, most of what I've done, if not everything I've done thus far, absolutely could have been done in too high. Uh, this does have the uh, G80 rear locker. I had one in my 07 Silverado. It can get you stuck thinking that, oh, I've got a locker back there. Uh, but for most situations, that thing will kick in and do quite well for you. But that is it of my quick speed date here of this 2023 Chevy Colorado Trail Boss. If you want to see more from us, find us on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube. Everything is at GT Garage Talk, or you can go to gtgaragetalk.com where you can read more about this vehicle and many others that we've tested. Uh, be sure and hit that subscribe, like, comment, follow, all the things that you have to do to let the algorithms know to show you more content from us. But uh, until next time, gearheads. Clap, clap. Where's in? This way? Yeah, that's yeah. it. Okay. Go ahead and roll my window back down. It got hot in here, y'all. Which, it's cold and windy. Springtime in Wisconsin is very different than springtime in Texas. It's practically summer in Texas.